Hello everyone! In this video, we would show you the unboxing of our new Huawei P30 Pro as well as the Huawei GT watch that came with it because the phone has been pre-ordered through Globe. The watch is free. So in this video, we would also show you some things that you would need to first do after unboxing this phone. So what needs to be set up. In, in terms of the technicalities and specs of this phone, you could either just browse other videos for that because we're not gonna go deeper into the technical aspect of this phone. It's just our first impressions and things that you would like to do first when getting this new phone there you have it if you would like to join us or interested in this please stay tuned okay so let's go ahead and open the box so of course you will get the phone and then you would see another box with this pin so this would be used to open the sim card as you already know there's a manual there. Here's a manual in different languages. Okay. So it would actually tell you how to set up the phone, knowing your dev device, your new phone, and then some getting started information here. It's Huawei already has um, this clear case included in the box, and then Here's the cord, the charger cord, and then the charger plug. So basically, that's put inside. And what I ordered is the one that is color black. So there. Okay, this doesn't have any screen protector yet. It's a bit slippery. It's so smooth, it would easily fall off from your hand. So that's why we need the case. So let's put the case on. Okay. Alright. So still the power button is on the right hand side as well as the volume. Volume up and down. And then the fingerprint scan is in the middle. It also has face recognition. Next, the uh, GT watch, which we can pair with this phone, which could track um, some some of your health data, like your the number of steps you can do in a day, your sleeping hours, your heart rate, and those kinds of health data. Okay, so let's go ahead. So it comes with this black box there. Okay, let's open. Can we open? Can we open, Ozzy? Okay, so here's the watch. Okay. There. It's really nice. So it comes with a manual and a charger. charger looks like this. This one automatically sticks at the bottom of the watch. It's magnetic and then just the cord which you can plug to your laptop. Okay, so let's have a look at the watch. So this is the look which you can actually change if you if they hold. There, okay. So if you hold 
the watch if you hold it like this you can choose whatever design you want you can pick from different designs you want on your wristwatch And then if you like, so you see, you can see the percent battery percentage and some settings. Okay. Okay. All right. And then you can also so if you scroll up as well again. See the message is coming in on your phone. It's synced into here once you have connected this to your mobile phone. And it's very easy to pair. All you have to do is to actually uh, make sure that this watch is, is charged. And then just open the app on your phone. And then just select which GT watch model you have and then it will automatically pair okay so if you slide left you will see the heart rate and then the temperature and then the steps and there okay and then if you if you click this button here okay so you would see more features of the watch like if you're working out, your activity, your sleep activity, you could also see here how many hours you have slept. Okay. Okay. And then it has a barometer compass, weather, notification, stopwatch timer, alarm, flashlight. These are very useful. Okay, so that's why I like this watch. Alright. Okie dokes. So now we move on to go back to the phone. Share with you some things you could do to set it up first. And maybe some features we just learned from this new phone because I am an Apple user and um, it's the first time I'm gonna be using an Android phone. So I'm very new to this. Um, phone model okay so as you can see I've already set up my fingerprint scan and so I could already open the phone using my fingerprint so I think that's the very first thing you could do to set it up it's either create or set up your fingerprint and then also um, if you like face recognition you may also set up face recognition I think the very next thing I did was to Check out this. They have a very cool app which is called Tips, which is this one. Have a read on each of these, and you will learn a lot about the phone like the navigation, how the camera works, what AI is or artificial intelligence is on the phone, and then um, safety and security, how to personalize the phone, and more tips so this is very useful if you read on browse on this one also this phone has a very cool app which makes things easy for for you in, in terms of transferring data so this phone has a phone clone phone clone this one's the app phone clone okay so what this does is that um uh, you can use this as a tool to transfer your data from your old phone to this new phone. So all you have to do is to select your whether this is your old phone or your new phone. So then you would choose this setup, new phone. And then on the other phone, which is my iPhone, what I did was to also download. So I downloaded phone clone app as well. And then connected it to this one there's an instruction so for example let me choose this is my new phone right and then i'm gonna choose what the old phone model is so in this case i'm gonna choose iphone all right so 
it gives an instruction to install the phone clone on the old phone and then connect to Wi-Fi and then select this Wi-Fi name and then enter that password. And then, as easy as that, you can start importing your pictures, contacts, and videos and calendars. So those are the data you can transfer using phone room. The other thing you can do firstly on your phone is to set up your uh, wallpaper widgets or home screen settings and to do that with Huawei P30 Pro what you can do is to pinch your phone like this and as you can see down at the bottom you do have the settings for wallpaper widget transitions even transitions in the home screen setting so for the wallpaper yeah you can see these are the available ones preset widgets you can choose weather um, calendars etc and then for the transition there's perspective okay you can see perspective squeeze box Rotate, flip over, page, okay. Okay, there, and then here are the home screen settings. You can set up the layout to be 4x6, 5x5, and 5x6. So it depends on you. So let's try 5x6. Okay, so there. And then the transition is windmill. Okay, so it became more wider with 5x6, and I like it. And then for the sounds, you can set up as well your ringtones, your message tones. Just go to settings and then sounds. So there. Then you also have this. Dolby settings for your sound. If I could find it. There, there it is. The Dolby Atmos setting. You may you may want to enable that one. Okay, let's go settings. Here you can find it under sounds as well. Dolby Atmos. Okay, so uh you can turn it on and then choose either different modes like smart, movie, or music. So if it's smart, it optimizes the sound automatically to give you the best audio experience. It's kind of nice. And for testing, the sound is really, really good in this phone. Let's see if I can find the music app here. Okay. Okay, so let's move on to another setting you could do upon receiving your phone and this is under battery so go to settings and then battery okay and then let's look for this one darken interface color as you may notice my background is black it's because it's turned on but by default it's not turned on so if you'd like if you do like the black mode you can turn it on in here under battery so let's turn it off so you can see the white version okay so that's the white version let me go back to settings there the white version and if I go ahead and I wanted the black mode just go to battery settings battery and then turn on darken interface color one and voila okay so it's now on dark mode okay so can 
I just say that the battery in this one is really optimum. Um, I have tried using it for three days and that's when my battery ran out so three days and then uh it's fast charging so in 30 minutes you can have a full battery on this one which is really 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 good so let's go ahead and charge this phone okay so that's how it charges it's really fast as you can see there also you would notice here you would see that the battery icon the lightning icon is double well it means it's fast charging or super charging if there's only one lightning strike then it means that maybe um there's a problem with your charger so you have to bring it back to the store for them to have it checked as to why your phone is not fast charging or super charging so for the camera the best feature of this camera is the zoom because you can zoom it 50 times as in you can see details from far far away even things you don't want to see tingnan mo yung zoom ko siya dun sa kabila yung yung mga kumakain dun Pag pinindot, didilim, tapos pag pinindot mo, <sighs> hindi grainy. Oh, you know, kita na si Kuya. Oh. <laughs> 30 times pa nga na ngayon zoom. Ayun, no, kita sila. Oh. Layo.